Oak's coming off an impressive unanimous decision victory over Eddie Alvarez. Oak, congratulations on another victory in such a short span of time. How are you feeling? Uh, 어, 대단한 승리를 에디알바 상대로 거두셔서 너무 축하드린다고 지금 시합 끝나고 난 심정이 어떠시냐고 <웃음> 어, 지금 한달 안에 경기를 두 경기 뛰었는데 솔직히 뭐 아직도 얼떨떨합니다 네, 레전드인 에디알바레즈를 이긴 것도 그렇고 그 랭키 5위 가파로프를 이긴 것도 그렇고 이게 한달 안에 이루어진 건데 아주 좋은 선수 두, 두 명을 이긴 거라서 좋기도 좋은데 아직 실감이 잘안 나는 것 같습니다 You know um, I I competed twice in in a span of one month, so I'm I'm very happy that I won. But at the same time, I I still can't believe if if this is this is real. You know, it's 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 surreal. So you know, I'm very happy that I I got to compete against a great athletes like Marek Afrov, who's the number five, who was who used to be the number five in one championship lightweight, and Eddie Alvarez, who's a legend. So I'm very happy that I competed with them and that I won. Talk to us about that experience, having to face Eddie Alvarez. Were you nervous at all by the magnitude of his name? Eddie Alvarez 선수가 시합을 하셨는데 네. 어떠셨나요? 그 Eddie Alvarez라는 그 거물이라는 이름에 좀좀뭐 압박감이 있으셨나요? 어떠셨나요? 압박감보다는 솔직히 좀 압박감 없었다고 하면은 거짓말이겠지만 그거보다는 더큰게 기회이기 때문에 이 기회를 잡아야겠다고 더 생각을 했어요. 그래서 조금 더 정신을 가다듬고 어 경기에 집중하려고 노력 많이 했습니다. 네. Um, you know, I, to be to be honest, uh, there was a bit of pressure, but more than that pressure was that this was an opportunity for me. So there was a pressure, but you know. I took this opportunity because Eddie Alvarez is such a legend and it's a, it's a chance to change my life. The first one, our first question will go to Damon Martin of MMA Fighting. Damon Martin, please go ahead. Uh, were you surprised that Eddie was able to survive that first round? And, and was there any part where you felt like the fight should have been stopped? In round, Eddie Alvarez was surprised that Eddie was able to survive that first round. And if you look at him again, do you think he was able to survive that first round? Do you think he was able to survive that first round? 1라운드에 그큰 데미지를 줘 가지고 제가 흥분해 가지고 그좀더 정확하게 때렸으면 괜찮았을 텐데 심판 판정은 정확했던 것 같아요. 에디도 약간 계속 움직이고 있었고 어 했는데 뭐 제가 조금 더 정확하게 못 때린 어 거겠죠. 네, 괜찮습니다. I believe that uh, if I if I stayed more calm and picked my shots and and hit him hit him more clear, I would have been able to uh, have have this bout stopped, ha, have Eddie Alvarez stopped. But, you know, I think referee's decision was correct because Eddie Alvarez was moving and, you know, he was, he was even talking that he's fine. So, you know, I think his decision was correct. And I just think uh, I should have picked my shots a bit more. And based on, on one scoring, it seemed pretty clear cut that you won the fight, especially based on the damage you did in the first and again in the third. But uh, were you pretty confident in the decision once the fight was over? 원 챔피언십의 룰로 따지면은 이거는 당연히 옥내윤 선수님이 이기신 게 맞았다고 기자님도 네. 그렇게 생각한다고 원, 원 룰은 다르니까 네. 근데 옥내윤 선수님은 어떻게 생각하셨냐고 이게 확실히 이겼다고 장담을 하셨냐 아, 큰 데미지를 준 쪽이 이긴 거라고 하면은 제가 무조건 이겼다고 생각하고요 그리고 뭐 에디가 뭐 저를 케이지에 등지게 만들고 어 케이지에서 컨트롤한 거는 있지만 저에게 데미지를 준게 없기 때문에 뭐 컨트롤한 시간이 많아서 이, 이 많은 게 이겼다고 한다고 한다면 제가 진게 맞겠지만 데미지를 준 쪽이 이겼다고 하면은 제가 이겼던 게 확실한 것 같습니다. You know, um, I believe that if like you know one champ in one championship scoring scoring criteria, damage is one of the highest uh, in scoring criteria, and I get I believe I gave him more damage. So if it's one championship rule set, I believe I won won the bout. Um, it is true that Eddie Alvarez kept the pressure. He pushed me. He pushed me uh, against the against the circle. You know, he tried to wrestle with me, but I defended almost everything. Even if he took me down, I got up in a few seconds. You know, so I believe uh, I won the bout. And last one for me. You know, considering this win and the win you had, you know, in the previous event, uh, and considering where Christian Lee is at in this division, do you believe you should be next uh, for the championship? Um, 이제 크리스천 리 선수가 음, 상대가 이제 다 이겼고 이제 2연승까지 하셨는데 크리스찬 리 선수의 다음 도전자는 당연히 옥내윤 선수님이라고 생각하시나요? 어, 어, 크리스찬 리가 1, 2, 3, 4위 다 이겼기 때문에 다음은 뭐 제가 
뭐 오이도 이겼고 레전드 알바도 이겼기 때문에 음, 뭐 제가 도전해도 된다고 생각하지만 그 크리스찬 리가 지금 출산을 앞두고 있다 하더라고요. 그래서 그 축복 같은 시간을 제가 방해할 수는 없으니까 그 시간을 행복하게 보내고 그 뒤에 시간이 되면 저랑 바로 붙었으면 좋겠습니다. 네. Um, yes, I do believe that I'm next for Christian Lee because Christian Lee cleared out the division except me. He he beat one number one two three four. Uh, I'm the only guy he hasn't uh, fought yet. Uh, but but I know that Christian Lee and his wife are uh, waiting for the baby to be born, and I know that's a blessing. It's one of the greatest time of of their life. So I hope he enjoys all that time first. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get in the way or I don't wanna bother him in in that precious time. So I hope he enjoys all that time, and that when he's ready and when he's ready to come back. You know, I'll be ready. So, you know, I hope I hope I'll be the next one for Christian Lee. Media here, Leon Jennings from Asian Persuasion MMA. When I spoke to Christian Lee after he beat Timothy Nastyukin, he kind of employed implied that he wouldn't fight again till the end of the year. Would you rather wait that long for a title shot if you are next in line, or would you rather take a fight in the meantime? The Christian Lee 선수가 이제 그 마지막 경기를 이기고 나서 인터뷰를 했을 때, 아 애기 때문에 올해 말까지는 그래도 쉬고 싶다. 쉴수 있다면은 그렇게 음. 얘기한데 만약 그 크리스찬 리의 그 소원이 이루어지게 돼서 올해 말까지 쉬게 이제 원 챔피언십에서 내비려 두, 내벼 두면은 음. 오늘 선수님도 그렇게 길게까지 기다릴 생각이 있으시냐고 아니면은 그 전에 그래도 한 명이랑 더 싸우고 싶으시냐고 물어보고 싶다. 어뭐 기회가 된다면 뭐 싸우겠지만 지금은 뭐 크리스찬 리 기다리는 시간이 얼마 될지 모르겠네요. 그래서 뭐 연말 연말이면 너무 늦은 것 같아가지고 한 경기 더 해도 되고 아니면 뭐 기다려도 되고 뭐원 챔피언십 Um, he doesn't really, you know, care about um, the, you know, what like he he whatever happens, it's okay with him. He will he wants to listen and follow to whatever one championship wants him to do. Um, he believes that uh, end of the year is a bit late, like it's too much of a waiting time for him. So he he is willing to fight, you know, one more before Christian Lee. But at, like what he said, if one championship wants Rayon to wait. Wait for Christian Lee and and fight on fight at the end of the year. It, it's okay with him. What are your thoughts on Christian as a champion? And if you were to take one more fight, in the meantime, is there anyone particularly you think you'd match up well with or would be ideal for you to face? Um, two questions. 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 상대는 누구 생각하고 계신지 만약 그냥 아무나 고를 수 있다고 치면 가정하에 어, 크리스찬 리는 아직 젊고 계속 경기마다 계속 성장하는 선수 같아요 그래서 뭐 저번 경기보다는 이번 경기가 더 성장했다고 느껴지고 뭐힘 근력이라든지 스피드 이런 게 조금씩 어, 성장한 것 같아요 그래서 아주 진짜 좋은 선수인 것 같아가지고 제가 꼭 붙어보고 싶습니다 그리고 또뭐 어, 당연히 지금 한 경기를 더 해야 된다고 하면은 랭커에 들어있는 선수랑 해야겠죠. 1, 2, 3, 4위 중에 한 명이랑 해야 될것 같은데 그 선수 뭐 아무나 다 괜찮습니다. 그리고 뭐 네. 근데 그다 선수들이 다그 크리스찬 리한테 졌기 때문에 진 선수끼리 어 하는 거 아니면 제가 뭐할 필요는 없어 보이지만 뭐 원챔에서 뭐 하라고 하면은 할 의향도 있습니다. Um, I believe Christian Lee is young, and the scary thing about him is that every fight he improves so much. So this fight, he's better than the last fight. The next fight, he's better than this fight. You know, he always improves so much. So, you know, that's the scary thing about Christian Lee. And regarding any op the opponent, um, I'm fine with anyone on the top five rankings. Um, but at the same time, like what I mentioned, they all lost to Christian Lee already. So I don't really feel why I have to compete with them first since, you know, Like I'm the only guy in the top five that Christian Lee didn't beat yet. But if one championship tells me that I have to fight one more and and it has to be one of the top five ranked guys, it's okay with me. I'll listen to one championship. Cool. Well, lastly, you've had an amazing month. What are you going to do to celebrate? Yeah, one year is so much fun. It's really a great month. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. 이제 점점 이제 그 느낌이 돌아오겠죠. 그래서 뭐 이제 저희 많이 도와주신 이제 뭐그 코너 돌아오신 뭐 경록이 형이나 그리고 이제 마이클 다 같이 뭐 어, 파티 그냥 할 계획 한번 세워보겠습니다. <웃음> um, 
I I don't really know what I'm gonna do because I like I said I I don't even know if this is re- real. You know, I still don't know if this is real. So, you know, I I I don't know what I'm gonna do. But you know, my corner, my team, everybody who helped me a lot. You know, when I when I go back to Korea, I think I'm really gonna feel it. You know, I'm I'm really gonna feel that. I just beat Eddie Alvarez and Mara Gafarov in in a span of one month. So I'll plan something. I'll plan something for sure. Our next question will go to Dylan Bowker of My MMA News. I'm just kind of curious because, as has been discussed in the scrum so far, like very close to finishing Eddie in that opening frame. Like, how did Oak maintain that composure through the remaining two rounds? Because I imagine there was a lot of adrenaline going on in that first round exchange. Oh. 좀 흥분할 모습이 보이셨어요. 이게 끝낼 수 있어서. 네. 근데 2, 3 라운드는 또 다시 침착하게 돌아오셨단 말이죠. 네. 아드레날린이 몸에서 되게 막 흥분 막 넘쳤을 텐데 어떻게 그렇게 침착함을 유지하셨는지 2, 3 라운드에. 음. 1라운드에 솔직히 조금 더 어, 침착하면서 때렸으면 피니시까지 낼수 있었는데 상대가 레전드 에디라도 보니까 조금 더 빨리 끝내고 싶어서 흥분했던 것 같아요. 그래서 어 1라운드 막바지에 한번더 몰아붙여 보고 2, 3 라운드에 그 에디가 조금 더 체력이 올라온 것 같은 그런 느낌을 받았어요. 그래서 아 이거는 좀 침착하게 경기를 다시 임해야겠다 싶어가지고 어네 다시 그랬던 것 같아요. Uh, you know, I believe on on the first round, if I picked my shots more and if I was a bit more calm, I could have finished the fight. But my opponent was Eddie Alvarez. He's a legend. So I wanted to. I I was I I got too excited and wanted to finish him a bit quicker you know and and that's the reason why i couldn't finish him and on the second and third round i saw eddie alvarez recovered and actually his stamina looked like he was recovering also from the stamina and from the from the damage so i you know i woke up and then i was like oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna have to be calm again I'm, i'm gonna have to you know bring it down a bit and then and then you know focus and also a big facet of the fight i was picking up on was oak's ability to get up very quickly from the takedowns Eddie was able to very briefly get if you even you know categorize them as takedowns like how like what does Oak credit to you know that part of his game in terms of like sparring partners shoring up the defensive wrestling hmm. 그 옥내현 선수님이 테이크다운을 당하자마자 계속 일어나는 그 수비 그리고 그래플링 실력 이거에 굉장히 놀랬다는데 도대체 스파링 파트너는 누구고 그 어떻게 훈련을 하시길래 그런 게 나오시는 건지 어 일단 팀에 그래플링 잘 하신 선수들이 너무 많아요. 그 원챔피언십에 있는 배명호 선수도 있고, 어, 뭐 옛날 지금 UFC에 다 갔다 오신 그 마동현 선수 그리고 강경호 선수 다 그래플러가 능하신 선수들이기 때문에 항상 뭐 비벼오고 이렇게 해서 뭐 그런 뭐 케이지 레슬링이라든지 레슬링 디펜스에 대해서는 뭐 그런 부담감이 없습니다. 네. Um, you know, in our team, we have a lot of great grapplers and wrestlers. Uh, a few of them would be uh, one championship uh, athlete, Bae Myung-ho, the Wolverine. Um, the other guy would be a former UFC UFC fighter, uh, the maestro, Dong Hyun Ma. And Mr. Perfect, Kyung Ho Kang, who's also in the UFC right now. And also, you know, uh, Korean Superboy. You know, all, all of those guys are in Team Mad. I have, I have such, a, such great partners. So I was very confident in my, in my preparation. And, you know, I was ready for anything.